Scotland is rightly famous the world over for the beauty of its lochs, firths and rivers. Beautiful they may be, but sailors will tell you they're also very dangerous. Hundreds if not thousands of ships have been sunk over the centuries and many people have lost their lives. This is the story of just one of those ships, the steamship Wallachia, which went to its watery grave right here 122 years ago. In the 1890s, the Clyde was a very busy working river, with dozens of boats and ships plying their trade up and down every single day. The SS Wallachia was launched in Southampton in March 1883. No images of the Wallachia actually exist, but it was almost identical to its sister ship, the Fabian, which is shown here. In 1893, it was bought by the shipping company Burrell & Son, then being run by none other than William Burrell himself. William Burrell, most famous now for his great collection in Glasgow, made his fortune from ships exactly like the Wallachia, transporting goods all around the world. At 10 a.m. on 29th September 1895, the Wallachia set off from the Queen's Dock in Glasgow on a voyage to the West Indies. Its holds were full to capacity with a valuable cargo of gin, whiskey, beer and other essentials. It had a crew of 21 led by the ship's master, Captain Walton. The weather was very foggy, so progress was slow, and it's not too surprising that in conditions like this, disaster awaited. I'm here at Largs Marina to meet my old mate, diver Hugh Hutchison, who's going to take us down to the wreck of the Wallachia. Hello, young man, how you doing? Uh, not too bad, sir. Good, yeah, not too bad. Good to see you. Are you experienced diver? Have you dived here before? I have indeed, uh, 20 years diving and uh, the Valacha is one of my favourite wrecks. So we're going to go and have a wee look today and see what we can find. OK, well you think we'll find something? Uh, there's every possibility because the holds still have a few secrets and uh, digging through the silt we might uh, come up with a wee bit of treasure. Oh fantastic, let's go. Lost in the fog, in the heart and the harbour, and caught by the tide, in a boat. Hugh and his dive buddy descend over 30 metres to the wreck. That's a depth equivalent to the height of one Glasgow tenement built on top of another. At 10 past four as they steam past to noon, something loomed out of the grey blanket around the ship. It was the Norwegian steamship Floss. Captain Walton only had time to shout a warning to his crew to get clear before the oncoming bows of the Norwegian freighter rammed into the starboard side of the Wallachia. A huge gash was sliced in her hull, and immediately tons of water started flooding in. With the decks awash, the cold waters of the Clyde met the red hot boilers. There was a huge explosion, and the Wallachia disappeared into the Clyde in a cloud of hissing steam. <laughs> 